but two people who live and breathe the romance of ballroom dancing. Their names, Bob Powers and Julia Gorchakova. The story begins for Bob and Julia with a chance meeting in a faraway land. I was over in Russia with a group of dancers. We were doing an American style exhibition and uh, we were in Moscow for a week and then we went on to St. Petersburg and they had a, a lot of um, very formal things scheduled, meeting people and going to ballets and, and finally we asked them if we could just have a, you know, a dance uh, party with the Russians because we wanted to, to you know, dance with them and get to talk to them and get to know them. And so they, they arranged this little party at a studio which happened to be Julia's mother's studio and Julia knew how to say hello and how are you in English so her mother insisted that she be there and it was kind of, um, I guess it was meant to be because she really didn't want to go. Her mother forced her to go and she showed up very last minute and she asked me to dance. We danced two or three times and, uh, and I remember she came over and she said, uh, I would like to be your friend, and, and I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> so uh, we exchanged phone numbers and, and names, and, uh, and I, was, I was leaving. We, we had to catch our bus, and a gentleman came up to me, and he said, you should dance with this girl. So after deciding to dance together for a six-month platonic trial period, Julia came to the U.S. They were married two years later, and life was changed forever for Julia. Well, I think um, my life here in America uh, with my husband is very, very different from what I used to be in Russia. And you have just a, mo a lot more opportunities to do what you like to do. Like you can pursue dancing and you just can do that and make money at this without thinking of anything else. How to get food, how to get, how to get anything. So you're a lot more focused on what you'd like to do. You know, it makes you more appreciate America. I mean, knowing what we have here, it's great. Phoenix, Arizona is just, uh, to me, one of the most beautiful cities in the country. It's, the weather's great. It's just so beautiful. It's, uh, we travel so much that um, it's, a, it's a great place to come home to. It's clean. Um, it's just different than any other place in the United States. It's mountainous. Uh, the, the cactus, the trees, the, the desert is just really beautiful. The sunsets, I don't know, the, the tempo is, is nice and slow. I always had a dream, we always talk with my girlfriend, to live somewhere where it's really hot, where there's a palm trees. And I guess that would be it. <laughs> we're best friends. I mean, we're, we're really each other's best friends, so... And I think that makes a difference, you know, we're not just husband and wife, but we're really good friends. And not only do we really love each other, but we really love to dance together. I mean, I just, I, when I'm out on the floor, sometimes I, she, she's so beautiful, I just want to stop and watch. And, and I think that comes across sometimes. I mean, it's, it's fun to me, and I, I have a lot of respect for her dancing, and, and I think that shows on the floor. I mean, there's, a, there's an intensity and a, and a focus between us. We're trying to most focus on each other because that's the one thing which is very constant. I mean, I have him, he has me, and the audience is changing, so if we just focus on each other, that's hopefully the audience will understand that how important it is to dance towards each other. It's that drive to win, to, to be the best at, at something. It's, it's just exciting. You know, to be out there with somebody that you love, doing something that you love doing, and having 2,000 people stand up and clap and, you know, and scream for you, I mean, that's... Uh, and then to win, you know, I, I think it pays off. As much as you put into it, I, I think you can get back out of it. If you, if you stick with it long enough, you find the right partner. And they lived happily ever after.